You install it once and work without distractions. Zero bloatware means no extra services running behind the scenes. The LTSC foundation stays reliable for years. Support extends to 2034, so you avoid constant rebuilds. Hi, and welcome to Appadus. This is Neil, let's get started. You will start by creating Tiny11 LTSC with the Creator tool. Open the Creator from the official site. The link sits in the pinned comment below. When it loads, press Build. The tool prepares your Tiny11 LTSC installer automatically. If you want to skip the build step, get the pre-built installer from the site. Both options work and both stay easy. You might wonder why this LTSC edition. It gives you a clean Windows base with zero bloatware. It needs about five gigabytes of space. You get Defender and all required security updates. You can add Microsoft Store if you want it. Confirm that you own a valid Windows 11 license before you start. Tiny11 LTSC works only with clean official installs. Your internet speed controls how long the process needs. When you see build finish successfully, the installer is ready. Download Tiny11 LTSC only from the official website in the pinned comments. Other sources often host unsafe or unstable files that can harm your system. Now you will use Xeno, a small tool that installs Tiny11 LTSC without a USB drive. Xeno comes in the package. Open it and select the Tiny11 installer you created. Pick the target drive and confirm that it has no important data because the format step wipes everything. Set the file system to NTFS and confirm the choice. Let Xeno complete the process. In a few minutes, Tiny11 installs fully. Restart your PC when it completes. You should see a dual boot menu with Tiny11 listed. If it does not appear, add it manually with a BCD editor like EasyBCD or Visual BCD. The steps stay clear and safe. No USB drives, no complicated setup, just a direct install that works. If Xeno shows an error or you want a USB setup, Rufus works well. Connect a USB with at least eight gigabytes of free space. Confirm it is empty because the format step deletes everything. Open Rufus, choose your Tiny11 installer, select the USB drive and start the write process. This usually takes five to 10 minutes based on your hardware and USB speed. When it finishes, you have a bootable Tiny11 USB. Restart your PC and press the boot menu key. Most systems use F12, F8, or ESC. If you are not sure, search your laptop or motherboard model for the correct key. The setup works like standard Windows 11. Choose your region and format. Pick the drive where you want Tiny11 installed. Check the drive first because the install wipes all files. Language choices and other settings appear after installation. When the process completes, Tiny11 boots to a clean desktop. If you want better performance, Without reinstalling Windows, use Velotic. It upgrades your current system to Tiny11 with a few clicks and does not need a full clean install. Velotic isn't a cleaner, it's a system overhaul. It raises FPS, cuts lag, and keeps your PC running like it's brand new, every single day. CPU and GPU are tuned automatically. Junk files are deleted before you even notice. Hidden slowdowns? Gone in real time. You get over 500 pro-level tweaks, one-click Windows debloat, instant app installs, and smart power management that adapts to how you work or play. It even compresses data safely to free up 70% more space without deleting anything. This isn't a quick fix. It's the same technology used by power users and studios to keep systems fast and reliable. Built over three years, tested by thousands, and refined with every update. $19.99 once. Lifetime speed, zero effort. Velotic. Built for performance users who refuse slow. Now we move to the key step, turning Windows 11 into Tiny11. Open Velotic, go to the Debloat page, and press play. The tool handles everything for you. With one click, your system reaches Tiny11 speed with no file loss and no broken features. You can check the full guide through the I button and the link in the description. When the installer finishes copying files, you'll be taken to the desktop. No forced OOB, E, or Microsoft account. 
On the desktop, open the Configure app and turn on compression. This reduces disk use by almost half. The process needs a few minutes. Most users should enable it. If your PC slows down, you can undo it with a single click. When the process completes, Tiny 11 LTSC uses about 5 gigabytes of storage. Standard Windows often needs more than 40 gigabytes before you install anything. Now that Tiny 11 is running, you can go online. Open the Configure app and choose the browser you want. Chrome, Edge, Opera, and Firefox all work. You are free to pick the one you like. Tell me in the comments what you look for when choosing a browser. I read every reply. Chrome installs in seconds with one click. The setup runs on its own. Once you are online, visit my YouTube channel and our partner channel and subscribe if you enjoy the content. You will also find a link to our Discord server in the description. Join to talk with other Tiny11 users, get support, and see early previews of new builds. If your PC crashes or shows out of memory errors, try this fix. Open the Configure app, turn on paging files, and restart your PC. Paging files stay off by default to save space. Turning them on improves stability and stops most crashes on older hardware. Drivers matter because they make your hardware work. Graphics, sound, Wi-Fi, touchpad, keyboard, and other parts need them. Without the right drivers, some features stop working. Tiny11 keeps the process simple. Open the Configure app, select Install Drivers, then choose Individual Drivers or Install All. No unsafe sites, no complex steps. Do you need drivers? Yes. Gamers and video editors need graphics drivers. Laptop users need touchpad, touchscreen, and function key drivers. Desktop users need Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound, and power management drivers. Once drivers are installed, your PC runs smoothly. Tiny11 handles the process in a way beginners can follow without trouble. Why choose Premium Tiny11 LTSC? Safety comes first. The official build stays updated and secure. Many free copies online contain malware. Lean performance. This build stays small and optimized. It runs well on low-end and older PCs, zero telemetry, zero bloatware, direct support. You get personal help through Discord or email. Premium Tiny. 11 LTSC is fast, secure, compatible, and fully supported. Thanks for watching. This is Epidus, signing off.